So if you want to create games on your iPad, like real Sprite Kit games, is actually fun and easy to do. I'm going to show you a very quick demonstration today, and next week we're going to dive in with a much deeper dive into what you can do on an iPad. Let's dive in with a quick introduction today, and I'll get started. All you need to do first is make sure you know, you're know you in your content view. You want to make sure that you have your scene declared. I'm doing this as a game scene here, and I'm passing in a few variables. That will become clear in a few minutes. And then I set the scene size to you know 600 by 600, and we just select it to aspect fill, and we return the scene. And then inside of the body of our view on Swift UI, what we're gonna do is have a sprite view, and we're gonna have that sprite view be the scene that we created above. We're gonna set it scale to fit so that everything fits perfectly. Now, below this scene, so this is a 600 by 600 scene, and that's gonna be inside of our view. So it works just like any other thing, right? So like all of Swift UI, all of these components are kind of stacked on top of each other. So we have our game title, our sprite view, and then I have an H stack here below with a button to toggle different colors of the square as they're inputted. So that's basically all that we need to do to get this game going. And again, this is just a, a very introductory sprite kit thing. It's not a game, but it's, it just shows you the concept here. We'll dive in a lot deeper next week. But you can see here, I have some game settings here. I have an observable object and I can count how many taps I have and I have the color of the square being dot cyan. And then if I toggle this button, it's changing the color of the square to red. So then what's happening in my game scene? So I have to bind these two things, number of taps and color. Bindings in Swift UI, they basically just allow us to, to see these things and update them across the different scenes. So we need to use a binding so that we can we can see that in the game scene and then address it and change it and make sure that it's displayed properly in our content view. And so we initiate those things here, uh, just you know, very generally, just so that they're available. And then what we do is on our touches began function, we're just basically getting our first tap and we're gonna place a particle at that position and we're gonna count our taps and count taps is just counting number of taps. So let's just run this game really quickly. And it's, it's a very simple game, right? We have our game title, we have the game scene, and then we have number of taps. So we can tap and it counts. And then if we hit our button, to touch the button, it changes from cyan to red. So it's a very simple concept. There's not a whole lot going on here. Next week, we're gonna make this into a game. I hope you're excited. Get subscribed so you don't miss out. I'll see you there. Bye for now.